Hello and thank you for stopping by. On today's project, I'm working on this Yards Machines by MTD Tractor. It's model 638RL. And the problem with this is that it'll run, it'll start to stall out. If you stop it, it'll start running again. If you try to go, it'll kick right off. While it's running, it wants to stall. If you keep it going, it will stall. Once it stalls, if you wait a minute or two, it'll start right back up. I will show you how I diagnose and repair this problem, and I will also show you it running. Now, I thought it was, the way it was acting, I thought it was a fuel delivery. This carburetor was, carburetor was cleaned out last year, and there shouldn't be anything in there, although I can't rule it out. I changed the fuel filter, and this is what it looks like when it sits for a while. I'm gonna take this for a drive, and I'm going to see when it stalls if there's fuel in this filter. If there isn't any fuel in this filter, the culprit might be this gas line. When I put this filter on, gas did pour out of this uh, fuel line. I let it drip into a container and it looked like it was flowing fine. But it might not be flowing free enough for the demand the machine puts on it. So let me start it up, take it for a little spin and see what we have. This has me scratching my head a little bit. You can see there's hardly any gas in here at all. Now, I was gonna stop this, take it back to the garage, but I went around the lawn a few times and then it started running fine. I checked it from time to time and this filter had gas in it. So my next thought was, well, I might've had some bad gas in here because I did leave gas in it from the last cutting. I drained that already, I put other gas in, but maybe that gas, you know, that was sitting for maybe uh, two, three weeks in a gas can. Maybe that picked up some humidity and maybe there was some moisture. The carburetor bowl, that would cause it to do that because as it's sucking up the gas, it's pulling up some of that water and it just wouldn't run right. So I said, well, let me run it a couple times and then it smoothed out. I almost finished cutting the lawn and it was running perfect. Nothing wrong with that at all. Now, there isn't any gas in here. See how much gas is left in the tank. I was trying to burn up this gas that I did put in here. It was only about a gallon, a little, it was a little under a gallon. Now there's enough gas in there that should flow down to this fuel filter. So why isn't it going in? I'm going to let this engine cool off first of all. Then I'm gonna disconnect this hose, drain this gas out put an air compressor in there and see if anything blows into the tank. If not, I'm going to take this hose off and see if this hose is deteriorating on the inside. I'm not sure. I thought I changed this hose already once before. I'm not 100% sure if this is the original or if I did change this. This looks like it was changed either by me or someone else. I just don't recall. I had this machine for uh, about two years now. And I've been using it, and I can't remember what I did when I first got it. I just don't have time to do the videos. I don't do videos on all the work I do. I would never get anything done if I just kept doing the videos. But um, I'm going to have to keep better records on what I change on these. Because it's given me two different symptom symptoms. Now, another thing that could throw this off, if you're having similar problems, I don't know if the camera's picking this up. Right in here, you have the spring. Sometimes these springs weaken, and that will cause it to surge. But, in my case, the surging stopped. So something's going on with the fuel delivery. I don't believe it's the spring or the governor. It's either the fuel line or this carburetor. So, once I get back into here, I'll show you what I find. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is get the nozzle from the air compressor in here and blow into the tank and just see if anything comes out of that nipple on the bottom. The tank is clean and and when I opened this up, I got a pretty decent flow of gas coming out, so I don't understand it. Just a quick tip, when you want to take this apart, get yourself a pair of pliers, squeeze that clamp, slide it up, and do this outside. So if you do spill any gas, it's not in your garage or in your shed. I use the, just a container with a funnel. I feel this is a real good tip. 
when you're filling your gas, whether it's a lawnmower or a chainsaw. I use a funnel with a screen in it, and I also have a screen on the bottom. Now this screen came from an oil filter for my oil burner. I do my own general maintenance on my oil burner, and the last time I changed my filter, I pulled the screen, that's the screen right here, from the core of the filter. If you don't have access to that, a screen, an, screen from an old screen window that would work also just an added protection helps keep the debris out of your gas tank and save some problems down the road so now i'm gonna hook up the compressor to this i'm not gonna put the top on so the air could blow off but i will put a rag on top because there, there still might be some gas or whatever might be in a little company here or whatever might be in that line I'll be back once I blow this out to show you what I have. I took the gas line off and I didn't find anything wrong with it. It was clear from one end to the other. See that piece of copper going up and down? I have a copper wire. To make sure nothing was plugged in the tank, put this piece of copper wire in and out. You see it going up and down. Stuck a rag on the top over here, put the compressor hose in and blew it out, cleaned this tank out. And I'm saying, what else could it be? I didn't find anything wrong with that fuel line. Let me show you what I think it may have been all along. Now, one of the things I thought of when it was running, I thought maybe the gas cap wasn't right. So I took this gas cap apart. I noticed this white, whatever it is over here. It's not a film. It looks like something that dried up. It could be from the gas. I don't know why it would be up there. But when I took it apart, I noticed all this white powdery substance in here it comes off when you wipe it you can see the vent cap lights going through the vent cap so that wasn't clogged but this piece here if the camera could pick that up right in here was pretty well covered I don't think that was enough to cause the problem but I'm looking at everything right now and also in here I'm gonna See, there's, a, there's, there's, there's these tiny holes on top. I'm going to take this apart as much as I can without breaking it. I'm going to clean it up with a toothbrush. And as I, I mentioned, there wasn't anything wrong with the other hose, but I did add a new hose to it over here. This hose looks new. The carburetor itself, I didn't dismantle the whole carburetor. I did take off the bottom bowl, and the bottom bowl, the emulsion tube was able to come out. Nothing was clogged in there. I wasn't looking for a clog. I wasn't looking for a clog, but I was looking to see if there was any water in here. Maybe if there was water in here, when it goes to draw the gas up, maybe it just couldn't draw it up. And another item I'm gonna check are these nuts. I'm gonna make sure everything's good and tight and that there aren't any air leaks. An air leak by itself would keep it from running, but if it's a slight leak with something else affecting it, maybe it's just not sucking enough through. I'm going to put this all back together, let this set for a little bit, make sure all this oil goes, drains back to where it's got to drain, and I will take it for a test run and see if we made any difference on this. I finally got this running right. I went through this machine, emptied the gas tank, flushed it out, changed the fuel line, changed the fuel filter, took the carb off twice just the bottom part and cleaned it out nothing it would run and shut off check the compression the compression was at 95 cold so roughly that's about a hundred 105 when it's warm the valves were off they should be set at 04 and there was something like oh just under 03 I opened up the valves so a little over 04 not quite 05 started right up it started easier and then it just died out again it sounded better but it died out again checked everything all over again finally i took the carburetor off again this time i took the intake off with the upper part of the carburetor cleaned it all out but i don't think the problem was here I cleaned out this bottom again went what I showed you earlier, I went through the whole thing all over, the same exact process, did it all over again, started up, and it ran fine. No issues whatsoever. Today, I mowed the lawn with it. 
Uh, this part of the lawn up here for about 50 feet, I cut during the week with a hand mower, so it wasn't that tall, but the bottom part of the lawn was a good seven, eight inches tall. This went right through it, although I didn't cut it on the lowest cut. The blades on this are shot. I have to get new blades. I sharpen them, but they need new blades. Cut it on the fourth level instead of the third where I normally cut it down below, just to make it easier on the machine. Cut all that grass, it ran without a hitch. So now, the only thing that's left to do, I have a new air filter ordered, new blades ordered, clean it up, put the hood back on, and this is good to go. The transmission was done, the deck was done, the carb was cleaned. I'm not sure if it was a combination of the carburetor and the valves, maybe the two of them together. Not sure. Or if there was just a speck of something in that carburetor that I didn't get the first two times. These wires are for the headlights. I just have them taped up so they don't short anything out. And this has been sitting now for about four hours. I cut the grass earlier this afternoon. Let's see it's let's see if it's gonna start up now. If it starts, it'll make my day. When this first started and it started surging like that i thought it was going to conk out again that's what it was doing in the beginning maybe the dirty air filter i don't know but you saw after i put the blades on and i cut some of that grass it leveled out in addition to the new air filter and the blades the new plug will be in store the oil was already changed and that's it if you have any questions let me know by posting your comments down below if you enjoyed this video give it a like it means a lot and be sure to pass it on to someone else who may be able to find this video useful and if you haven't done so already subscribe and hit that notification bell not to miss my new videos as i upload them and until next time stay safe